The purpose of this Max Factor selling film is to show how a casual customer can be introduced to a complete skincare routine. Good afternoon, madam. Are you interested in this product for yourself or for a friend? Well, actually, I was just curious about it. What is it for? This lotion is a wonderful product if you've got an oily skin because it helps control the oiliness and refine the texture. I'm fed up with all the creams I'm using. And as you can see, my skin is very dry. I agree with you. Your skin is inclined to be dry. So what it needs is nourishing and moisturizing. Notice that Eileen doesn't attempt to sell the wrong product. I suppose that really I need a good cream for my face. What have you got? Well, we've a wide range of creams, but first let me have a closer look at your face and then choose a particular one for your needs. Hmm, you've got a lovely fine texture, but it's a little dry and sensitive. First, let's start with a good night nourishing cream. This one here is ideal for you because it contains beneficial oils and moisturizers. And as you can feel, it's so light that it's quickly absorbed into the skin and it won't leave any greasy film on your sheets or pillowcases. Now, when you apply this, Massage it upwards and outwards, starting from the throat and finishing off with the tiniest amount around the eye area. Funny you should say that, because I've noticed that if I put cream around the eyes at night, the next morning they're all puffy. Of course, the skin around the eye is so very fine and delicate, you mustn't overfeed it. Just pat the tiniest amount from the outer corner of the eyes in towards the nose, up over the lid. This will help lubricate and firm and prevent little telltale lines. Mm, yes, I like the feel of this. Is it okay to wear under makeup as well? Well, I'd rather you use this than wear nothing at all under makeup, but ideally you should use a moisturizer, which is designed to protect your skin throughout the day. This one would be good for you because it's non-greasy and it locks in your own natural oils and moistures. It prevents dryness, you know, from sun, wind, pollution, central heating, etc. Of course, it makes the ideal base on which to apply your makeup and helps your makeup last longer. Do I put a lot on? Take a good fingertip and massage it the same way as I explained with your night nourishing cream. And if your skin still feels a little dry, then you need a little more. Eileen has now explained the difference between a nourishing night cream and a moisturizer. My hands are certainly getting the treatment. They'll be the softest hands in town. I only hope it works as well on my face. Lately, nothing I use seems to be any good. After I wash my face at night, I always put on a cream, but my skin is still dry in the morning. Did I hear you say you wash your face? You mean wash your face with soap and water? Hmm. I don't feel clean unless I use soap and water. And don't tell me to stop washing my face, because I've tried using a cleanser and taking it off with tissues, but I never feel fresh. There's no reason why you shouldn't use water, and I'll explain how in a minute. But you must try and stop using soap, because it contains alkali, which is drying, and it doesn't dissolve the makeup from deep down in the pores. I'm sure that's right but I can't get used to not washing. Of course you can wash. Now, Max Factor have a choice of cleansers which are water-soluble. In other words, if you use the cleanser instead of soap, and you actually rinse it off with water and still have the refreshing feeling of a soap and water wash, but not that tight, dry feeling. And furthermore, you'll know your skin is really deep down clean. Well, you learn something every day. With those gooey cleansers, I felt the girl was just selling me another product. I can understand your feelings. But when you know why we recommend various creams, you can see the logic. Although I know you originally came in for a night cream, no matter what cream you use, you won't get 100% value unless you start with a good clean skin and follow the four basic steps of skincare. What are they? Well, first, cleansing night and morning. and You feel happy about that now, don't you? Yes. Secondly, toning, which so many women don't realize the value of. You mean astringent? But you just said that was for oily skin. Not if you take the correct one for dry skin, like this one here, which is a gentle toner. Put some on a pad of cotton wool and pat gently but firmly over your entire face. It'll help tighten the pores and keep the balance of the skin normal. How often do I have to do that? After cleansing at night, before applying your night nourishing cream, and after cleansing in the morning, before you apply your moisturizer. I'm sure you're right about all this, but where on earth am I going to find the time? Honestly, this routine won't take longer than five minutes night and morning. It's far better to do a little often than spend a long time once in a while. There are many other treatments to help the skin, such as face masks, massage creams. But I'd rather you get used to this basic routine first. And then, when you return, we can discuss these others. 
It's all very nice, but it'll cost a lot. Now, let's see. Cleanser, toner, moisturiser, night cream. It's only about four pounds. Actually, I was out shopping for a hat. My niece is being married. Don't forget, your skin's got to last you a lifetime. A hat will only last you till the next occasion. Why don't you treat yourself? That's a good argument. Why not? I don't often treat myself. I'll take them. I would love to see you in a week or so and see how the treatments are getting on. A good knowledge of skin care makes it possible to sell the correct basic products. By explaining clearly how and when they should be used, the customer, for the first time, really understood the meaning of the four steps to beauty.